Scrappy Peach Susanna here today with a two page layout for you. Be prepared for a long video. So this is the left hand side of the page and there are 31 pictures in total and this is the right hand side of the page. So between the two pages, 31 pictures. So I started with this cut file from Cut to You and you can see I um, cut the file in white, backed it in blue and then put the hearts in red. And um, I am working with the Jen Hadfield Chasing Adventures collection. This is perfect for uh, this zoo adventure. And so my plan had been I'm going to have the left stripe smaller than the right stripes. And they are going to be the color basis of the collection. Mind you, I don't want a lot of color because of all the animals and the photos on there. And I thought that I would actually use pattern paper instead of just white cardstock. Um, but that plan goes awry because I don't actually like it. I like the photos on the white cardstock. Um, I've decided that that's too big and I really didn't like the red, white, and blue. It felt very patriotic and while this was um, part of our 4th of July celebration weekend, um, it just, it, it, A, it was too big and B, I just, I didn't like it. I felt like it was actually hard to read. Um, and so I'm going to revisit that cut file, but I'm going to absolutely commit to um, this layout as it exists right now with these two borders on either side. Um, and then this very, very fine strip of the green, and it's just got polkas, polka dots, um, just to punctuate those stripes. I, I like the way that the horizontal um, takes away some of the, I should say the vertical takes away some of those horizontal stripes. So 31 photos in all, I actually have 32 here. Uh, some are vertical and some are horizontal. So while I was doing all of that, I recut the file and so I just cut it in blue. Um, and I like the way that the blue sits on the white um, and then know that there is a fine detail gold foil um, pattern that is actually in that blue pattern paper um, from the Jen Hadfield Chasing Adventures collection. And actually that is from the paper pack. Um, the paper pack is what has that gold foil. So that is what, by doing it smaller, I could get all of my photos. And I was okay if I didn't get all of my photos on there, um, but I really did want to get all of them. Uh, my daughter is actually upset with me because I am missing her favorite animal, the okapi, I think it is. Um, and then the sloth is just the, the two toes of the sloth because that's about all we saw. Um, but we saw the sloth, part of the sloth parts of the sloth. Anyway, so I'm trying to figure out how I am going to get all of these photos aligned on here. Am I going to keep all of the verticals together and then all of the horizontals together? Am I going to um, line them all up or am I going to space interspace them? I do want some white space on there. Um, I just have to figure out how I'm going to get that on there. So I there's a lot of shuffling here that goes on. Um, I also want to some of my animals are facing to the left and some of my animals are facing to the right. So I need to put those in the right spot. And then I also do have a few of the animals that are in water, um, which adds that splash of blue green to it. And so I am looking for um, balance in those colors as well. So I've gone back to my paper stack and I want to um, get some embellishments. I don't have a lot of embellishments that come with this collection. Um, it was part of my the scrap room kit as well as what I could find at Tuesday morning. So I am going to fussy cut some flowers so that I have a few more florals. Um, and what I like about the floral is how it adds color to the page. I can see already that I'm getting some hesitation in my video, so I hope my voiceover isn't um, hesitating. I apologize if it is. So I like that flower there. It adds some red. I want a little bit more red. It 
to the central part of the layout because you can see there's an awful lot of green and brown. Um, it's just inherently what happens when you go to the zoo. So a little bit about these pictures. We were at the Cleveland Zoo. So for 4th of July weekend, we went to Cleveland for baseball games. Um, and while we were there, we went to the zoo along with um, what felt like half of Cleveland. Um, and so obviously I have a lot of animal pictures. I edited every single one of these pictures pictures. Um, and I will also link you in the box down below if I can um, to the free Photoshop action that I used to print. I think I printed nine wallet size four by sixes um, to get these pictures. Uh, so it was a it's a free action that you can download and then you install it to Photoshop. Um, and that is how I was able to get all of these wallet size uh, photos. And then I had to, of course, trim them all. So I'm, I know all the photos are going to fit, generally speaking, so I am working on the outside, the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the page to try and get some embellishments in here. So to get a little bit of variety, I have some labels, um, and I'm thinking that that's probably what's going to house my journaling. Um, and so these are long labels from Ellie Studio. These are probably the print and cuts. You can see that little um, container that I'm digging through there. So I'm looking for a few other labels and it's easy to match the colors because these are pretty much primary colors um, that are here. So I am definitely going to use that darker label um, and I want to put Cincinnati Zoo in there. So that is the title is all the animal goodness of today. Um, and then I will have other pages that also have um, human pictures as well. Now, I have cut some of the pictures, and so that's what I was doing there, is I was marking with a pencil where I was going to cut it to span the two pages. I like when I have two page layouts, if I can, either the pictures are cut across the two pages, or that they are literally nestling side by side and an element is cut across the two pages so that you know you could, it, it's something that ties the two pages together and doesn't make it a very distinct right hand side and a left hand side. Um, I really liked that yellow label in the middle there. It broke up the, I'm going to say monotony of, of all of the, the rectangles, um, but it ends up being odd man out um, and it also ends up being really difficult to get the correct spacing of all of the photos with the label in there it kind of throws the proportion off so I opt to put that somewhere else um, I like the way that the horizontal photos at the top and then the ones at the bottom they almost bookend so bookend is right and left but they almost provide the header and the footer that I like to put on a page um, and then you have the books of the book with the bookends being the pattern papers um, in, in between the top and the bottom, bottom horizontal photos there. Um, I like that symmetry and that design cohesiveness. And I did decide, so some of them do end up being um, exactly stacked, but you can see looking at it for the most part um, how the pictures are all offset. They are not perfectly aligned one on top of the other. Um, I, I hope you understand what I mean when I say one on top of the other, that they're offset for the most part. Um, and you can't perfectly offset all of them in order to get all of them on, but most of them are offset. Um, and I was able to get the pictures that I could cut um, on the page. So there is all of them. So the only one that I have printed of my edited pictures and left out was the, I want to say it was the... Um, was it? I don't know, to be honest, um, and I don't have it anymore uh, because I couldn't possibly put all of them on there. There are a few animals that I did have pictures of that weren't great pictures that I ended up omitting there. Um, so one of the questions that my daughter asked me when she looked at the page was, are you going to label all of the animals? No, I am not going to label all of the animals. When I set out on this um, journey of this page, I had thought that maybe I might use my dy dynamo, dymo, is it dynamo or dymo? I think it's dymo, my D-Y-M-O, dymo, um, and that I would label them, but 
I mean, most of us know what most of these animals are, uh, and so, I, no, I'm not going to label them. I just, um, I think the page is busy enough, and for me to label them, it would have made them even busier. Um, so I will refrain from doing that. So just shuffling them around to get a balance between the green and the darks, um, between that zebra. And I want to say that that is a, those are the orang, no, we didn't see the orangutans. They're a monkey of some sort. So I'm just adhering those all down, um, and I am just, I'm using adhesive, my um, Gina K adhesive to get those stuck down. There is a little bit of a disparity between the top of the page and the bottom of the page. I think I, uh, the pictures are pretty much flush with the top of the page, but I have a probably 16th, maybe 1 8 inch um, white space at the bottom, but it is what it is, and I wasn't going to move everything down to change that, and you can't really tell. So that yellow label is going to be housed at the top right. That, again, is a um, Ellie Studio print and cut. I'm sorry that the left-hand side of the page is uh, cut off, but working with two pages the way that things are set up got a little bit difficult. Um, so, again, some more Ellie Studio labels that I'm using. Um, I, I have all of my Ellie Studio embellishments. Uh, I should say the ones that aren't in packs. So um, all of the die cuts and my labels, my print and cut labels are color sorted. And so I'm just digging through those for different shapes um, and mostly uh, sentiments and things like that. I do want to have some red elements or some other elements overlapping the photos so that that breaks up the rigidity of the grid that's in the middle there caused by those photos. And I do want to leave those white spaces um, if I can. I'm okay covering them up like with those two overlapping red labels. I really like that because it's brightness with a lot of white. Uh, but if I can manage to leave white space there, I um, do want to leave white space because it is a your eye needs somewhere to rest with all of the um, intensity of having 32 photos on a page there. So uh, again, just um, it takes me a while to find the things that I want um, to get the right colors, the right phrases. Uh, so I'm just digging through some stash there. Um, I'm going through the reds because I like the way that the reds tie in the colors on the on the ends, um, but also break your eye from the grid. So you can see I have an arrow on the left-hand side that has space for journaling. I've got that green um, speech bubble with the white star above the um, tortoise there, and I've got uh, a red heart. And um, so just there isn't a visual triangle in this. There's no way I could have created a visual triangle, um, maybe with embellishments, but um, it was it was tough to do. Uh, I thought maybe I might have had a been able to have gotten a visual triangle with the florals, but I only end up having the two florals, the top left and the top right. Um, and that's okay. Then I thought maybe I'd have clusters around the reds, um, and the reds would be the central part of the clusters. That So then there would be three bright red spots, um, but that, that didn't work out either for me, especially because I'm going to go in off camera and I'm going to actually fill in um, the hearts. So that's red, and that just distorts everything that I thought I was going to do. So now I'm using some my ThermoWeb iCraft um, foam, my giant foam roll there, uh, and I'm just going to pop that up off the page. I am going to end up using some flare, and when I use flare, I definitely like to have other items popped up too, just so that there isn't this one lump in the middle of the uh, page protector kind of the whole page is raised up off of the page protector, and I find that that helps there. So overlapping those labels there, um, the yellow label is going to be where I house the journaling, and it's just very quick journaling because, like I said, I will have another page. Um, and then that green label that says exploring, perfect for the zoo, um, is just, it's more decorative to house the uh, florals that I fussy cut there. 
So I am also going to pop this green speech bubble from LA Studio up off the page. Um, it is green and I have a lot of green in the photos, but I like that this is a different green um, and it's because it's a different shape, it helps break up that rigidity as well. So I have three stickers you can, uh, not stickers, labels that go, you read them vertically down the page. Um, so the top left one is going to say enjoying and that's red, it's coming. Um, and then the yellow one next to the title um, is actually going to get moved and it says big smile. And then that green one on the right hand side where I just put those sunglasses, the puffy sunglasses says so very cool and those puffy sunglasses are going to get relocated too. So that's the red one that I was referring to and that will stay up there and still leave that white space there. So I had to step away um, and I gathered a few more bits and pieces. So now I've returned and hopefully um, it will things will stay stuck centered so you can see that left hand border there. I wasn't going to include this giant pineapple, but because I had the gold in the blue pattern paper, I wanted that little bit of gold and I know that the pineapple is disproportionately large compared to my tourist travel girl there, but I like it. I like the gold. Um, and you know what, those flowers are way bigger than she is and so blah, we're just going to leave it. So that yellow thing that I put there um, says summer fun and that is actually from a fancy pants collection. And then I pulled this really, really old kit from Feed Your Craft. I thought maybe I might make a tag on that where I've got that white space on the right hand side there or instead of those red labels that I had, sort of create something that could be a label for more journaling there. But I anything that I put covered up that white space way too much. And so um, I am going to, so you'll see that I fill this, that space that I'm referring to where that pink flamingo is. Um, and I will actually end up pulling most of that off. I will leave the pink flamingo and I'm just gonna put a star in there so that it is largely white space. There's stuff there, but your eye has a spot to rest there. So that green, um, it's not green orange flare that I have in there currently. Uh, it says summer will get interspersed in between photos at the top left. That other flare is also from the kit um, and it is a compass and I will leave that exactly where it is. However, that yellow LA Studio label that's poking out next to the compass flare um, will get moved and that will get moved over to where the tortoise is and um, I am going to use an old, old piece of October afternoon with multiple arrows that says best day ever. So I do want something white that, I want something to come into this right hand side border here. So you can see I've got that Ellie's Studio tag. Um, the problem is, is that it has vertical stripes on it. Um, and so I can't journal on it. And my purpose of having this white Space is A, I know I'm going to need additional space for journaling, and B, I really wanted to have a little bit more white space on the page. And by white space, it doesn't have to be white, but I wanted a large area that your eye wasn't distracted by all of the busyness that's going on in the center of the page. Um, so I will come to that as I'm creating. Uh, I think I'm going to create that on camera. I may end up doing it off camera. But in the meantime, what I've done is I've got a few of my stamps and I have stamped totally in love with this place. Um, and then I've also stamped so glad we came here. So it's just a subtle thing um, that you have to look up close at the layout. So this is another um, travel stamp and it says here, trip highlight um, and the little arrow pointing was pointing down so you can see I've, I've stamped it twice so that I can get the little arrow pointing up um, and that is pointing to and it's really hard to see but when you look up close it's it's there um, and you see the two toes of the sloth um, so that sloth her name is wait hold on there's Zoe and lightning I think it's lightning and lightning is pregnant um, and so she is hiding in her little sleeping bag there, and that's all we saw of her, um, which we were a little disappointed with. We even went back to look for her, um, but could not find her. So now I want to put in all the animal 
goodness of today. So I'm looking for puppy stickers for Animal. Um, these are from Pink Fresh Studio, and I don't know why I did this. I should have just gone to my LE Studio, my go-to letters, because I know the colors of my LE Studio, and they match Pebbles collections or Jen Hadfield's collections perfectly. Um, and so I should have just, that's exactly what I end up using. There we go. Uh, LA Studio. And so there's various colors of green. This is the lightest green um, available. And I don't actually have the names on them because I just stash everything together. So I am hoping I'm going to get to this online, but I don't think I am. That white tag is going to come off and you'll see in the close-ups that there is a nice blue spot there that just kind of pulls it all together. So that is the end of the layout, my friends. I am going to put Cincinnati in that spot there. You'll see that right there in the close-ups. Um, I have not created a sketch for this, but if you are interested, definitely let me know in the description box down below, and I will um, answer any questions that you may have. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.